Welcome to Leaf Nautical Sailing Academy. I'm Paul Murray and today I'm going to take you through tidal heights. You may ask, why do I need to know this? Many harbours will dry out, so we'll need to calculate the earliest time in which we can leave a harbour and the last time we can get back into that harbour. Or, when we are anchored, to be certain we'll have sufficient clearance at low water. To find out the height of tides, we need to look at a tide table. For example, here we have a tide table for Victoria. If we look at the 1st of January, it will show us the height and time of high water and low water. So that, for example, at 11.26, we can see the height of tide is 5.8 metres. At 17.42, on the same day, the height of tide has fallen to 0 0.7 metres. So the tide table will give us the heights of high water and low water, but they don't give us the height of tide at any point in between. To find that, we need to use the tidal graph. Let's use the tide graph for Victoria. It's the 1st of January. High water is at 11.26. And on the bottom of the graph, we can fill in each hour after the high water time. So plus 1 is 12.26, plus 2 is 13.26, and so on. Along the top of the graph, we can mark the height of high water, in this case 5.8 metres. And on the bottom of the graph, we can mark the height of tide at low water, in this case 0 0.7 metres. Now we join a line between our high water and our low water. So, if we want to find the height of tide at high water plus 3 hours, that's 14.26 on the 1st of January, we mark a line from our time up until we meet the tidal curve. And then, we draw a line from our tidal curve to where it intersects our high water and low water line. And finally, we draw a line to the top or the bottom scale. In this case, drawing the line to the top, we can see that the height of tide at 14.26 is 3.2 metres. So that's how we do tidal height calculations. I'm Paul Murray from Leaf Nautical Seven Academy. We hope you've enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.